evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated, my darlings, and a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support, my darlings. This is going to be a quick um, grandmother ancestor message. It kind of feels like a morning tea and um, tarot type vibe. Have my tea here, drinking on my keep it up honey tea, okay? It's like the immune system booster, you know, daily supplement tea, so... Is the season for that honey okay but this um grandmother energy i was hearing um i apologize by anita baker okay i apologize oh baby i do i apologize oh honest and true because i know i was wrong Listen, I love me some Anita, even with her drama, her dramatic ways, honey, okay? Um, your grandmother, I'm hearing her say, I was not a saint. Don't judge yourself against me. Things weren't as perfect as they appeared. Your grandmother didn't i don't know why oh, okay, i'm gonna say what you said it's like live life exactly the way that it was seen and i'm hearing her say whoa whoa whoa, wait hold on hear me out there were things that she kept to herself because it didn't fit a narrative there are things that you judge yourself about on mistakes or Things that you've done that may have been unsettling. And it's like, you know, people may be like, yo, grandma, yo, you know, all of that. And she's like, baby, I wasn't perfect. I did some things. Okay. I did. I did. I have done things. It could be the, you know, super churchy person who then took a glass of some drinks before. Okay. This is giving a vibe of a grandmother who used to talk down on certain things or they kept a major secret and it's kind of like somewhat would look at it as like hypocrite energy the he of air with catnip this is a resting rest your energy rest your thoughts i'm hearing her say slow it down you know we end up seeing that there's like a cat inside this catnip that's being she's petting the cat so it's hard to see but catnip is a very feminine energy but it, it relaxes your body um, it relaxes your mind. I'm hearing Janae, rest your weary heart. Um, hmm. Don't judge yourself off of what you thought you're, you know how people used to do the, what would Jesus do? Some of y'all be, what would granny do? <laughs> Some of y'all be doing that. What would grandma do? And she's saying sometimes grandma was a rebel. Sometimes grandma did say and like, and you just didn't know it though. Because it happened when you didn't see it. I'm hearing I was a master disguiser. This is giving an energy of not idolizing or making sure to not idolize. The star card with cotton wood. I'm hearing be your own person. If you do make a quote unquote mistake, 
you know, get up and keep going. It's something about this secret energy, though. And I honestly, I don't want to cross her boundaries because I'm her energy doesn't want to share her secrets. But but it's like I'm hearing them, but I'm not feeling like I have permission to share them out. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to respect that energy. But this is giving. I have secrets, too. I wasn't perfect. Um, I did the best that I could do. Because this gives a vibe of some of the secrets after, you know, death, like potentially some things not being glued together, I guess you could say. But I'm hearing definitely be your own person, 555 five, five on the time. Um, it's something about looking at your perception of when you make mistakes or how you may compare yourself. And she's saying, baby, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, 10 of air with the alfalfa, don't do that. Because it's going to keep you in this 10 of air energy when it's like, no, get on up. Handle this the best you can. She said, as long as you do things the best you can and you don't have bad intentions, you know. And I know they say good intentions have paved the road to hell, right? I know they said good intentions pave the road to hell. This is giving. I'm hearing her say people make mistakes. Like she's very. So if I got to sneeze. I'm hearing her say that's what makes you human. I'm hearing her say that. Oh, everyone has a secret. Everyone has a secret because now she's pointing me back to. The line on Titanic when she had the heart of the ocean and she kept it with her the whole time. And then eventually she dropped it into the ocean. This well-known, expensive diamond. It's like the secrets. The feminine secrets lie deep, like an ocean sometimes. Sometimes you don't tell the truth in relationships or with people or how you're feeling. But this is given a vibe of find a way to have a healthy outlet. Find a way to have a healthy outlet. I saw, you know, it's crazy. I saw this card at the bottom and I didn't take it. And the fact that I just shuffled it and came out again with this Damiana. Damiana and Catnip together are good, okay? Definitely for anxiety, stress. If you need to relax, relax your nerves. Um, this is the Carandera Fire. Curandera. Curandera of Fire. <laughs> I've been working on my Spanish pronunciations. These are Spanish. Um, well, Hispanic. No, Spanish. That's the language. I apologize. Um... I'm getting better with it. I be ordering my food in Spanish. I be like, hey. <laughs> but this Crenandera fire, and look at these old hands. It's healer energy. Touched by angel healer. Um, healing. What's being healed? This yellow flower is standing a lot out to me right now which then feels like ego, you know, I'm feeling not being upset with yourself when things don't go the way that you wanted or the way that you hoped for it to go.
All right. Love yourself. Old ain't dead. Indulge yourself with sensual bliss. Come home to pleasure, power, and passion. A red crystal vase of Damiana elixir sits on a pink lacy altar cloth with a single glass. A beeswax candle illuminates symbols of sensuality, a voluptuous mermaid, a yoni-shaped geode, and cowrie shells. Copal resin is in the vial and burns from a smoky cauldron. Roses are scattered around fresh cuttings of a Damiana plant. An elder woman places her hands upon the table, making the shape of a sacred triangle, the gateway of life, the yoni, okay? The, yeah, okay, sorry. It's a feminist symbol. The Cadendera fire defies conventional norms. She remains whole until herself, wild and free. Now you notice this is a very feminine deck. So the current the Cadendera fire would connect with like the king of fire, but it's feminine in this deck because it's earth, you know, it's feminine. She is a champion of female sexual power. She understands the importance of self-love rituals. Just as Damiana ignites passion, she adores the power of human desire and woke of sensuality of all kinds. She knows a passionate life comes from living what you love, living what you love. Thus, she honors her creative cauldron with luxurious ceremony. She says, delight in yourself. People are drawn to her vivacious personality. Her counsel brings pleasure and inspires direct action. You know what this is giving me? I guess grandma is giving me permission to say this. It's something about with sex, sexual desires, how you handle sex. Grandma said it's okay to like it. It's okay to want it. 12, 12 all the time. But just remember everything is sacred as well. She said, I made a mistake once. She said, leave it at that. Baby, this is some parables, okay? Granny, this is some parables. <laughs> this is some parables. You have the emperor coming out with the um, hemlock. This is father energy, masculine energy. father of child energy what's up with this emperor and this current era fire i feel like both of those connect grandmother would mm, not this one Mm. Queen Mother Nanny, the goddess of a liberation. It's something about being sexually liberated. Romantically liberated. Limer liberated. Because this emperor energy is like a boss. Yeah, then you have protection, but use protection. Child. Some of y'all. Ooh. Because now I'm hearing what? This is for very few, very few, very few. Because I'm hearing one night of pleasure. Can turn into 18 years of pain. But I feel like this pain is holding it in. Okay? This pain is holding it in. Of something or a decision. Your grandma made a decision out of pleasure. And I'm hearing her say, forgive me for those of you all who you know about this, okay? Because I'm over here like, I'm hearing her say, forgive me, please. Let's pull some zodiac signs. And then it's like, because I'm hearing her say, baby, you never know what you do in that situation. You have Aquarius. Sagittarius.
I'm not taking planets. I'm only taking houses and the signs. Aries. Aries again. Cancer. Cancer again. Capricorn. Aquarius. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I already said Aquarius. One more. Pisces. All I'm hearing, you would cry too if it happened to you. I'm hearing everything isn't as it seems. I love you, baby. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. And as always, my darlings, continue to bloom and harvest the good energy that you have been sowing. If you are interested in a personal reading, check out my website, monacole.com. Um, check out my company down below, energytea.com, where we do ancestor message candles, smoke blends, tea blends, all of that jazz. So if you want a personal reading inside of a candle, <laughs> just for you. Um, check that out and all of that jazz and I'll see you all later. Um, if you need to forgive your grandma, forgive her. She was human. She was human.